Good morning, everyone. Asha here from Pandemonium. Hope you're having a wonderful day. How about you, Mumu? Are you having a wonderful day? Yeah, because you just had your breakfast. Started out a wet, rainy day, but luckily the clouds have broke and the sun is out. Now today, unfortunately, is the day that we have to leave. We had seven beautiful days here where we didn't have to move. We could just relax, explore, and do what we wanted. Luckily, I got everything packed up and the truck hooked up last night because I knew it was going to rain this morning. Thankfully, there is not a lag between this reservation and our next one. So we're just going to head straight to our next reservation. This one is a paid camping, not free like this one. But still, so we're going to be there for two days and we don't have to find anything in between. I think everybody's ready. Dave looks like he has everything packed up and his car hooked up. Jeff is packed up as well. I ran out of coffee, so he's making me a cup of coffee. Awesome sauce. Now it is only 9 a.m. and we have till 11 to check out, so two hours to waste, or we can pull out early if we wanted to. This was such a beautiful place to camp and explore. Definitely have to revisit this again when we come back to Florida. You can obviously tell I'm still getting used to my camera because I forgot to turn on my microphone. I met a local by the name of Tracy and she comes here with a group of her friends. She was nice and brought her horse over and introduced me to her horse. She was even nice and let me feed him a carrot. Unfortunately, I did not have the microphone on, so I didn't get the audio on that, but I am showing the clips of where we walked around and she introduced me to her group of friends that come here to the park and ride. They seem like a very nice, happy bunch. She had seen us and said she had thought about stopping by, but didn't want to intrude. She did offer a ride on her horse, but unfortunately, I didn't think we had the time. So maybe the next time we're here, that'd be amazing. I think we are all ready and I'm hoping I can cut it enough and get out of here. That's what I was worried about when I was hooking up my truck. I think I can, I think I can. And I did. All right. Stay away from the tree. Okay, off to our next camp. That was really nice to meet her and a shame I forgot to cut on my microphone. It was nice to meet the whole group. They were all very friendly. Oh, I think I just saw a deer run across the road. Moo Moo, are you ready to sleep? I hope nobody's coming in because this can be a very tight road, actually mostly one way. There are little pull-offs here and there. But I think that's why they have people check out at 11 and leave and then they don't have people come in till three. Unless people are coming in early to check it out like we did. We are back on 52 and heading east. We're gonna skip the toll road, which is 589. I think it's just only a mile more, so there's no point in paying that toll. And we're gonna be stopping in about 20 miles at a Walmart to do some shopping, get some supplies. I'm completely out of drinking water, so I need to do that. Then we'll be heading on to our next campsite, which check-in isn't until three. Well, and it is only 11 o'clock, so we've got plenty of time. Plenty, plenty of time.
Okay, I've got all my shopping done, everything packed up. The rain came. It rained pretty hard. So we're gonna go ahead and get back on the road and head to camp. Should be almost time to check in. I think it's about 2.30. Yeah, it rained pretty good. So I'll just follow Dave. In 300 feet, turn right toward Broad Street. Oops. Head southwest. Feels nice outside. It's cooled everything down. Turn right toward Wisconsin Road. I guess that's a good thing about rain, but sometimes it could be worse. Sometimes just Take a little bit right of rain. Wisconsin Road, then turn left onto Wisconsin Road. It can make things muggy. Turn left onto Wisconsin okay. Road. Okay. Then use the left two lanes Jeez. to turn left onto US 41 North Broad Street. You're awful bossy today, Charlie. This was our halfway point. Continue on US 41 North for seven miles. We've got about another 20 miles to go total. I was just saying 22 miles. So we're gonna stay on 41. I'm not sure how far. It says six and a half miles. Laurel City, 16 miles. Lake City. 123. Crossing over Main Street. How you doing, Momo, huh? It's beautiful out here, isn't it? With La Cucci State Forest. Continue on East Trail 10 for one and a half miles. So like Charlie said, we have about a mile and a half. Firewood. I think we've made it. it. Says dead end. Oh, that's to the right. Oh, well, actually, no, we still have a mile. A little over a mile left. But it turns into a dirt road. potholes. Camping, one mile. Okay, we are here, Holder Mine Hunt Camp. And it says on the closed. Right. Well, that's a seasonal camp. The one we're actually at is I forget, I have to look. The one we're at is actually um, paid and it is not closed. Buckhorn was to the left. Holder Mine Campground. You asked for an electrified gate? Uh, you got it. Electrified gate? Oh, nice. So I was saying that well, some of these campsites should put electrified or... 7502. The one in my email is right. The guy in front of me didn't have the right one. Let me, I gotta look up my site. I guess we all have to punch in the code. 
Your destination is on the right. Just wait for it to shut. I don't want it to shut on me. I'm sure it shuts within a specific time. Yep, there it goes. Okay, yay. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, and I, I get to unhook in the rain. Amazing. I have sight 19. Okay, you're just past me. And I think I'm in between y'all at 18. Oh, I'm 18. Oh, maybe I'm 17 then. We're just across from us. I had to stop and see what side it was. It says I'm number 17. Here's 16. And then there is 17 where Jeff is. Need to go ahead and unhook my truck. So I can back in. I don't want to block 16. Now I'll just pull right here. For now. This will work. Momo, Momo, can you go unhook the truck for me? <laughs> You have overflow parking here for your truck. Yeah, I know. I do have overflow. That's awesome. <laughs> why, oh why, did I have to decide to just let down right as we got here? Ugh, I'm a bit wet. But the truck's unhooked. Now I have to do is just back into my site. Uh, and we'll be good to go. Free shower. Well, Jeff was smart. He has his umbrella and his raincoat. I've been meaning to get a rain jacket, and I really should. You can watch a tree on your side. You got plenty of room on this side. Okay, back it on up. Back it, back it, back it up. It's got two trees on each side of the drive. Just gotta be careful with those. Okay, I think we've got it. I think that's... Come back. Yeah. There it goes. Okay. Now we're on the cement slab. Yeah, I mean, you got another four or five feet if you need it. Okay. Well, I'll come back a little bit more. And that should be good. Good, 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 yeah, good, good. Yeah, now you're kind of in the middle of the path. So. Awesome. Thank you. Now, I just got to move my truck over. Or I think I'm going to park it actually up there where Jeff is. I do have overflow parking here, which is pretty cool. Nice big site with a picnic table, fire ring, everything that's normal. The power and water's over here, which I have to get hooked up. And then Dave and Jeff are across from me. I probably should have dumped before backing into that because I did take a shower earlier and it would be nice to get rid of that water. I didn't see a dump station on the way in though. Maybe I just didn't notice it. Raindrops keep falling on my camera lens. Well, I hope it doesn't rain all day. That will really suck. Holder Mine Campground. That looks like a trail. Still no dump site. But they do have a restroom facility here. No vehicles beyond this point. What? 
bathrooms and the showers. Yeah, bathroom and showers, but did you walk around the whole thing? Well, it's a second gate, so you have to go out a gate and come back in the other gate. So no dump facility? That would be weird. It is raining anyways, and I probably would wait until afterwards to dump if it ever stopped raining. I can always just do it tomorrow as well. Very nice camping area. They do have a huge group of pavilion picnic area. Pretty nice. At least it keeps you out of the rain. I think Jeff's still looking for the dump station. He walked off that way some way. Hmm. I'm gonna go over here. I think there's another path over here. I know it's raining, but I actually do enjoy rainy days. It's definitely cooler weather. Okay, well, this just leads to another gate over here. Um, oh, there's Jeff. Oh, he's on the other side of the gate. They might not have a dump facility here. I swear it said they did. Do you see anything over there? No? Yeah, it's weird. I think that's all, um, I think they're all like camping, but they're closed right now. There's different roads, I think that lead to different camping areas, but I'm not sure if those are free or paid. Okay, what is it? Trash house. Trash house. Attention, do not stop between here and the gate. The gate will close in one minute. Okay, oh, I guess you just, well, that's weird. Just put your trash in the trash house. Huh. So they must not have a dump station. I thought it said they did. It said it did, yeah. It said they did, yeah. Maybe we can find where the camp post is. I'm sure there's a camp post. So I just asked that nice gentleman back there and he said it's a hundred feet before the gate. So it's out there. Um, the gentleman told me that it was out right a hundred feet before the gate. It's a very unusual name with La Coochie State Forest. Holder Mine Campground. Okay, so made it back to the front gate. And he said it's a hundred feet past the gate. Oh. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, well. <laughs> That's a bit confusing, and it is a one way, so you have to go to the back gate, then come back around. It's weird they put this all out here. I mean, people could come without paying, use the dump station, fill up with water. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, they don't even have to go into the park to use the dump station here, or get water, like Jeff said. Okay, well, we know where it is. Yep, there it is. So all it says is this water is not for drinking. Maybe they put it on the outside so other people could use the facility without actually having to go into the park. Dump station is for the emptying of holding tanks by those with a pay oh, paid reservation only. Washing vehicles, RVs, campers, or OHVs is prohibited. Well, maybe they just didn't have the room for it inside the RV park. This is how we had to get a reservation. We went to that site. Florida State Forest, ReserveAmerica.com. Okay, the rain's starting to come back down again. Maybe I'll just wait till tomorrow to dump. Unless it just totally stops raining. The camping here was about $20 a night for full hookups, which is not bad. There were some fees, reservation fees and stuff like that. I think for two nights, it, the total ended up being about $45 or so. Is that blue sky I see? The clouds are starting to break up and the rain's starting to go away. I think it's just falling from the trees right now. The sun is out. Yay. 
There are a lot of roads here that are part of the trail system and you can take vehicles as long as uh, it is named or numbered. Right by the camp area is the Citrus Hiking Trail there and we're here. I think this is it here. It's also an equestrian one. That's a pretty big trail, like 13.8 miles. Wow. Well, you can do the, there's a short one here. I think this one's only 6.7, that's still long. 15, what's 15, 14 miles, 13.8. Oh wow, I might be confused on how that works. Jeff was noticing the blue mark on the posts and we think that's part of the hiking trail. There are two trails here. This sign by Jeff is specifically hiking and then this trail on this side I don't know if you can see the sign up there. This one is specifically for horses. It's called Middle Earth Horse Trail. Well, it's nice that they actually have hiking trails because some camp spots don't. Into the woods we go. We're just gonna go for a little short distance because we are running out of daylight. Come on, Momo, go, go. Not to mention it's still kind of wet everywhere. Dear Moss. It's very peaceful back here. At least they have the blue markings to let you know where the trail is. More of these trails should be clearly marked like this. I think that's always a good thing. But if you look, the forest is different. There are no saw palmettos or the fan palmettos at all. It's definitely more like a forest. Oh neat, look at all the mushrooms growing on this log. It kind of actually reminds me of the Flagstaff area. All the pine trees here. Oh, that's bright. The sun's starting to get low in the horizon, so I think we're going to turn around. Ready, puppies? Go. <laughs> She's going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way, Mila. Now that we're on our way back, Kellogg has to find the biggest stick to destroy. Jeff was just pointing this out, but usually this stuff is like really hard, but after the rainstorm, it's soft, like a wet sponge. Pretty cool. We made it back to camp and I had to do something different with my electric, so let me show you. I did get my RV plugged in, but unfortunately the 30 amp service was not working. Luckily I had a 50 amp reducer down to a 30, so I just plugged it in there and that one is definitely working. Still don't have the water hooked up though. I'll do that tomorrow. No rush because I have three quarters of a tank. Flush toilets, that's nice, nice and clean. A couple of showers and, yeah. A couple of showers, looks like hot and cold water. Can't forget to roll up my windows. I made the mistake of doing that at the last camp and had mosquitoes all in my rig. It was a mess. Okay. They're usually starting to come out right about now, but I haven't seen any signs of them at all. We have a male cardinal there by the tree. Give me a birdie, birdie. You don't even see that, do you, Kelly? Yeah, he does. Oh, he's watching that guy. He's looking straight out. Oh. Right down. 